There's many long tutorials for setting up an e-commerce website. But in 2024, there's new free templates, new AI tools, and new WordPress features that can launch a proper e-commerce store in just five minutes with all the functionalities you need. We'll cover each step from start to finish. And if you're new here, my name is Rohan. We publish five videos a week for online businesses. So welcome to the channel and let's begin. The first step is to get web hosting and domain, which can be bought together. There's many options, but as a beginner, the main choice is to pick between these two camps. And I'd suggest this one because it's easier to manage. I also found a discount coupon from WP Beginner. Shout out to them for their great tutorials. So let's go to the description, click the discount code, and then you'll come here. So click here then select your domain name. Then click here, add account details, then scroll down and select the 12 month package. Then scroll, uncheck these extras, add payment details, agree to terms and click submit. Then let's create your password, click submit and it's activated. We'll go to our email, then let's go here, then click create a site. Now let's add the site name, then scroll and install WordPress. Then let's go to the left, click on my sites, then go here and click manage. Let's click on this button and you'll arrive at your WordPress dashboard where we can start building a site. So let's go to a new tab, type our domain name, hit enter. And now we can see that our site has default content on it. So to change this appearance, let's come back to our dashboard, go to appearance, then click on themes, then add new theme. Now there's many options here. So for now, I'll just type Astra and use this one because it's easy for beginners. So click install, then activate. Next, we go to plugins, then add new and search for Elementor. This is a page builder plugin that's free and makes it very easy to edit the website design that we're going to create. All right, so let's install and activate it. Then I'll search for starter templates because creating all the pages from scratch can take hours. And this has a lot of free templates, which will save us a lot of effort. So let's install and activate it. Okay, we need one more free plugin. Let's open a new tab and click airlift.net. Now, Airlift is a free speed plugin that makes sure our site doesn't slow down because people don't realize it, but even small sites with four or five plugins and a few products are generally too slow to load. So we built this plugin ourselves and are sharing this for free with our community. It's super simple. Let's just go to sign up, then add your website URL and download the plugin. Then in WordPress, just click on add new, drag and drop the plugin, install and activate it and your site will automatically get all the speed optimizations it needs, and you should see a 90 plus score like this. Airlift also makes sure that your site stays fast as you keep adding more things to it, so it's a good long-term tool to have. Next, let's come back to our WordPress dashboard, then click here, and this page will open where we can select a page builder, so I'll pick Elementor. Now, we can see a lot of website templates here, and I'll select e-commerce, then I can preview a template, and this one has a products page, a menu, and a shopping cart as well, so I'll use it. Uh, first, I'll add my logo here by clicking and uploading my file. Now, here's the logo we need to add, which should be about 200 by 100 pixels in size. Then I'll adjust the logo size using this slider. Now here we can pick the colors we want for our site. So let's go with this one. Now below that, we can pick a font for our site. Once done, click continue. I'll fill out these details quickly like this. And then click this button, which is submit and build my site. So it's going to take a minute or so, and then you can click on view my website and you will have a full website with different pages. So let's click on one of the products. All right, next I'll show you how to edit your site and replace all of this default content with your own content. So let's come back to the homepage. And we will start with this. I'll click edit with Elementor. Now everything on my site can be edited. I can just go to this text, click here and edit it. Or to change this image, click here. And here's the option to add more images. But what if I want to remove something? So for that, I can just go to the element, then click X to remove it. So it's really easy to edit any page like this by just clicking on the elements that you want to change. Similarly, 
Once you're done making changes, go on the top and click on the publish button. Similarly, I can click the contact page and then edit with Elementor and edit all of these elements as I like. Okay, now that you know how to customize your page, let's add products for selling on your site. So let's click here and come back to our dashboard. Then on the left menu, select products. We can see all the sample products that came in the site. And if I click on it, you can see that it's designed like this. So to add the photos and other details of our product, we can go back and find this option of add new, click it, and we'll come here. Now we can add the product name, description, then click here to upload an image. And scroll down to add a regular price and a sales price. So after you add all of these details, you should go on the right. And now we need to select a product category. So I'll just create a new one. Let's call it coffee, then add it. All right, then let's hit publish and we can see our product pages live. And obviously we can keep adding things here from our dashboard like I just showed you. Okay, now if I click here, my home page has featured products showing here like this. So to get your main products on the home page like this, let's come back to our dashboard, click on products and click on this star. Now this product will show up on our home page. The next step is to add a payment gateway on our website. We can use PayPal, Stripe or Razorpay, which each have their own pros and cons. I'll show you how to add PayPal because that's the most versatile option. So let's go to the PayPal website and click sign up. Then select business account and click next. Now enter your credentials, fill in details about your business. So come back, go to plugins, add new and search for WooCommerce PayPal Payments. Then click install and activate. Now go click on WooCommerce and then settings, go to the payments tab and then toggle PayPal as your preferred payment gateway. Then click the activate PayPal button. Now if you go to a website, we can see that the payment gateway is now active. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.